Where does, where does identity become even more complicated with, with the experience of travel, I think is a very, a very good question. When I look at someone like Jones or someone like Catherine Sutton, his, his niece, um, Jones is interesting because he was already, he was mixed race. His father was a Welsh surveyor. Um, his mother was the daughter of an Anishinaabe chief. Um, Jones himself spent a good portion of his youth um, living amongst the Six Nations. His father had contacts at that community. So Jones already had very, you know, various strands to his, his own identity, his own sense of self. Um, and I, I, I'm, I don't quite like the word hybrid. Uh, I'm not, not terribly comfortable with that, but I, I think Jones was crafting something different, something, something new out of this context of uh, social change, political change, economic change amongst the Mississauga. But when Jones went to England, um, and he, he wrote quite, quite a lot about this, both publicly in letters that were published in the Christian Guardian and letters that were published in other um, periodicals um, that were addressed to his brother John Jones or to his English wife, um, Eliza, who he met in England in 1830, he would talk about the way in which he felt it was he felt it was quite natural to to be an uh, an indigenous man who was a Christian who was a Christian leader, um, but who at the same time always carried his medicine bag with him and always spoke out about the the problems that his people were having and the need to um, for the British government to pay attention to those problems. But he would also comment upon the fact that that in, when English people looked at him, they didn't see. A mixed race man, for example, the man who had his also had family roots in Wales, they saw a red Indian, and treated him in some ways like a freak. Um, I mean, there were there were uh, humanitarian members of the British government at this time because that was a fairly strong strand within the within the the, the British government, who saw, who were sympathetic towards Jones and I think and tre treated him um, in more egalitarian ways. But he was quite well aware of the fact that when he went out on the streets of, of uh, London um, or other cities that he toured, if he had any kind or any kind of indigenous clothing, for example, that people would treat him um, at, you know as a member of a freak show. Uh, he was very clear about that. So I think in some ways, his his travels made him more even more aware um, of the kind of different ways in which people were perceived. Um, Catherine Sutton is sort of interesting in, that, in some ways because she, when she went for her audience with Victoria in 1860, she was chosen by her band to represent them. She stated quite clearly over and over again in her public writings that she was an Indian woman, and these are the words that she used. I am an Indian woman, I am an Indian mother, I have not given up on my Indian identity simply because I married a white man. Um, but when she went to see Victoria, she refused to wear Anish Anishinaabe clothing. Um, she insisted on wearing European dress, and she said, uh, you know, I'm wearing this because I am a good Christian woman. I'm not a pagan. I don't want to be treated as, as such. But I also think that there is more to that story than simply assimilation, um, because she, in so many other ways, insisted on her Indian identity. I think it's also because she was well aware that as an indigenous woman appearing in, in you know, the royal court wearing Anishinaabe clothing, she would she would be seen um, in a very one-dimensional kind of way. Um, and, and seen as an oddity um, and, and, and I think also had benefited. She had been with her uncle in, on his 1837 tour, so I think she benefited from, from that. So I think in some ways, they, you know, even though people were sort of used to being almost performing Indian in some ways in Upper Canada, their travels made them even more, um, even, even more aware um, of the kind of loaded and, and um, perilous uh, nature of that enterprise when, when you transport it to another another uh, dimension or another country